Okay, guys, um, I'm doing a video today, obviously. Um, what I'm not going to do is make this too long, okay? There's a bit to get through, but I'm going to try and keep it under an hour, uh, which will be pretty much a record for me, yeah? <laughs> right, I'm going to talk about the Daily Supers. You remember them Daily Supers we had? Uh, where a few people um, struggled with the number one. Uh, basically, the one and fours competing against that Daily Super on the GU. I'm going to show you that quickly um, I'm going to show you what I tried to show you when I came on that day which was my strategy how I trade um, the one and fours I'm going to give you what is probably the most uh, basic way um, to trade using the HA charts uh, Darwin I told Darwin what to do on Friday and on a low volume day he um, at one point was 8 nil and 40 pips up uh, just by doing what um, you know what I said at the time um, it's probably by the way how BR, Hugo and quite a few other members in the room trade anyway so you've probably seen it all before but I'm just going to go over it and show you okay I certainly know it's our MT trades um, he, he pointed that out to us after that day um, with the I think it was Wednesday with the daily red yellow on the GU okay and I'll just uh, mention a bit about the two other types of five minute arrows um, on the new tweak the green and the whites all right you already know how to trade the yellows it's basically a ranging day strategy um, so I won't focus much on them indeed I don't think we'll see many of them okay so let's first of all go and have a look Oh, and I'll, uh, I just want to explain something to Rocky and all where he went wrong with that particular trade on, excuse me, on Friday. All right, but first of all, let's go and have a look at that daily um, super chart day. Okay, it's on this system here. Okay. Right, so basically what we had here was this signal over here on the right hand side can you see it top right hand corner on the daily it's a red yellow the one thing i will say about this particular signal guys is that throughout the entire session okay throughout the entire session that never changed from a red super okay it never changed from a red super now if you look at the eu it doesn't have a daily signal yet it does get one it gets a red pink okay but it kept flashing on and off all right if you look at the gcad daily down here it was yellow and at, at certain points it went red yellow and at certain um times during the session it disappeared completely okay which meant that when you did have the one and fours or at least you know this one hour signal it was a stronger move all right so anyway basically what uh, MT was doing, he was seeing the one and fours, you can see them here, they're only reds at the moment, but they do improve, they are, one's gone super, and he was looking on the HA chart here, for a signal, or for momentum to flip, okay, like it's red at the moment, you've got DX there, green, so, maybe, that would have been MT's entry there, alright, you understand, because the one and fours are there, he's thought, yeah, I'm going to trust the one and fours, they do actually um, work as well alright they do work I've seen them and some of them were quite decent sized moves alright but then what was happening as I'll show you as we you know qu quickly fast forward through here look you're hitting this now I expect when you hit the orange line whether these are daily or not okay I expect a little bounce there right especially against the trend alright and then a bounce and then probably fall through okay and that's the the, the the way I normally trade I expect that and then if I've not taken the first trade I'll take the second all right <coughs> excuse me um, again getting back to the point that the EU didn't have a daily now look what the EU did you got a signal and look at the thrust look at the thrust okay compared to the GU even though the GU trade won with the one and fours Right, it was always the fact that you've got that daily super there, and, and guys, I'll be honest with you, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I've only seen this a couple of times. They are quite rare, but I've only seen this a couple of times, and I've been well impressed, well impressed. Um, 
certainly with the, the, the red yellows as you know they are the strongest signal okay um, nevertheless the GU trade won the EU trade won but look where it was look it's right on the top BB band okay with the one and fours all right EU GU MT you can't actually see it there it's just behind the clock but MT would have taken that and won he did he, he was nine and oh at one point just taking the GU down guys so the one and fours won all right so let's fast forward there was that bounce no doubt in my mind it was going to be a bounce okay I'm going to keep fast forwarding what you should be looking at and all with the GU is look on the 15 minute chart and every time we hit the orange line it went back up with a daily again here look back up with a daily so basically you've had your number ones down and then the number twos kicked in all right trending number two okay um let's fast forward because I want to get to a point where we bounce again right so again look alright you weren't on the BB band this time but there's still a trade in there it's from here there's still a trade in there uh, GCAD yeah still a trade in there look you've got a one hour so it was a number one GU one and fours so it was a number one right but here's where we have to be careful because of this daily super red now this um, shoulders, shoulders really how strong these dailies are again I don't want to uh, focus too much on one particular point guys so I'm going to speed it along but look look at it, the thrust there look, GCAD because the daily came back look at the GCAD look at the GU, right, look at the EU no daily, look it hardly, hardly went up alright, but the GU again just come through the orange line here and bang straight up again all right so let's fast forward again get back to another point and that and that guys with the trend there if you were open tp uh, i think this is eventually goes about 40 pips you know so um whether you you know should be thinking of taking 10 pips five pips uh, basically i think you wait until you get an arrow against you on the haikanashi chart okay let's fast forward just want to show you one more right starting to flatten out here you can see these candles have got small again you've still got a four hour there the daily's still in play but you've still got the four hour signal there's even a one hour blue okay so again you, you know you're looking for um momentum flip possible high canashi arrow okay there's the arrow fast forward and there you go look just gone behind there now but bang another winner with the four hour all right so then again look where you're approaching right might go through this orange line this time there again we might bounce off it but either way you can't just take it based on that principle you need um to look and say is it a number two yeah you know because uh obviously if it's not a number two yet and you get into the upside and it goes down like that even further like i mean you look at the ucat gcad sorry that went crazy down here you know decent size move um let's get to the point right here we are i think you might come down a bit more here. if you come down yeah it looks like it will might come down a bit more and hit this orange line okay so again the number one you know here won it won you won on fours you went with the four this time but it won now you've got this coming back into play this red yellow again it's not changed color guys it's not changed color okay so is it obviously you know it's still a trend to the upside a number sorry a trade number two so um that's what we're looking for you see the touch here now on the 15 minute okay obviously I was on at the time and I was pointing these moves out look to the downside here green arrow which I'll talk about in a bit okay these are great great they're, they're a sign of a possible reversal of green arrows um, white arrows are just continuation of the move as you can see there look you can see there look out and down all right so fast forward we're getting the bounce to the upside now and number two 
and there you go look what happened again again I'm pointing it out bounced off the 15 minute orange line back up with that daily red yellow okay and look at the thrust difference there guys look same with the GCAD look it didn't bounce off the, the 15 minute it bounced off the 30 minute this one okay look at it just bounced off that 30 minute and again um, back up with the daily even though it's only a yellow at the moment all right um, again I'm not sure if MT traded this one but you were outside here momentum would have flipped you've got Haikanashi uh, pink same with the GCAD there look you weren't outside and anything but you, you, you obviously had a momentum flip turned red must have for it to go down like that okay so fast forward again yeah as I say he might not have taken that one I know he, he, even if he did he would have won that one because it definitely went more than 5 pips alright so up again bouncing off the 5 minute this time alright uh, G cap bouncing off the 15 minute look alright back up with the dailies ok gets another point where it comes down again uh, and 4 hours have disappeared at the moment so we're still going up ok let's fast forward I yeah, just want let's go a little bit here now because that G looks like it could be again yeah yeah thought it was uh, yeah you see again you know coming down again the GU yeah. no one and fours so you could have said well this is not a number one there is a one hour there but you could have said it's not a number one and it was risky to take so you might not have taken that one most people would because you know you know you were outside here you're outside here bouncing off the um, BB bands on eight hour and off the orange line on the daily so you know there was a trade in there all right um, EU look again these greens in play look down number one probable well definite winner it has one okay I don't want to spend too much time on this again look down winner Gka down winner EU down winner okay um, so yeah th I think what we have to do now guys is and again look bounced off the um, orange line back up with a number two with the daily of which I am actually pointing out at the time there okay and look again at the thrust you know GCAD up there uh, off the 15 minute orange line this time uh, what was I saying before that uh, yeah so uh, we have to respect um, the, you know the strength of these daily supers in particular the red yellows guys now so uh, I think even though the one and fours you know won well enough if you're going to do it just remember to get out at the orange lines right when the dailies are involved you can quite clearly see on the 15 minute that the G was just hitting that and then going back up with the daily every time okay uh, and the G card was obviously either the 30 minute or the 15 minute all right guys so that, that's all I wanted to say on that particular day okay we need to respect the um, the daily supers they are, are without a doubt uh, a major signal okay um, right what else was the uh, I wanted to show you something somewhere I think it was on the paper trading um, right well let me just show you my strategy before we go any further okay so I'm going to just use a couple of my own charts guys because um, uh, I don't think MT put the Friday session up and it was a, a low uh, volume day just let me have a drink um, it was a low volume day but still you know if you traded it correctly I mean this I'll show you how I traded it right and if you traded it correctly then you would have made um, well before stack over over uh, uh, 160 pips easily easily okay 
just uh, before we go to your thingy, I'll just show you on a couple of my own uh, charts. Okay, so basically, um, this 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 is when we come into room. You can quite clearly see here thirteen fifty, which is ten to two. That's ten to nine um, room time. Okay, so that'll be the five two. That's the o'clock candle there, two o'clock, which is basically nine o'clock. Okay, so the first trade on the GU. We had a four hour signal up, right? Was this one, and I can assure you this trade here, Rocky, you'll remember this. This trade here was on the bottom BB band on the HA chart, okay? So, Rocky, before I go into our I trade, here's where you went wrong, mate. You were against the trend, you were the four hour was against the trend, okay? Uh, I know that BR I think pointed this out to you that you should have got out at the 30 minute orange line and you should because you were against the trend if you were with the trend then obviously there's more um, push with the trend and um, you know you could have perhaps rode that out without actually going into the red alright Rocky so here's basically the first trade which was here it come up here I think this was something like 15 pips you said at the time and then it dropped like that on you yeah but you should have said right uh, that's at the 30 minute orange line I'll take my trade take my profit wait this move out to the downside because you still had the 4 hour and then look to get in here which again would have been on the bottom BB band on the HA chart ok so there was another at least 10 pip trade there alright that's what you should have done Rocky get in take profit wait this out get in take profit wait this out perhaps get in here uh, it would have won up here right I'm going to show you now how I trade okay Rocky right all right so basically I take I'll say two I take three but I take I'll say two trades here right one is a long term which I'm going to leave to run until we hit the one hour orange line or until you know happy hour when it turns around all right um, and then the next trade is a 10 pipper because it was low momentum day it was a 10 pipper alright I know Jules asked about it I'm pretty sure he didn't ask for his own benefit because I'm, I'm pretty sure he knows how to do this anyway uh, he probably asked so that everyone would see his question and see my answer ok against the trend low momentum days I will go for 10 pips on these trades ok with the trend I will do open TP okay with these trades not just the big trade the long-term trade but the smaller trades as well all right so I'll show you what happened right so I took a trade here it won here right so that was 10 pips I waited this out took a trade here it had won here that was 20 pips okay waited this out I took a trade here well again this was on the bottom BB band I think at the time this was on the bottom BB band because it had come down so much here on the uh, HA charts okay now it hadn't won until somewhere up here this trade okay however right um, when we came back down to here because the 4 hour signal was still active and I knew it was still active I took the trade again here which again was on the bottom BB band on the HA right so at this stage I had two trades running okay that didn't win till here alright now again when we come back down again here I took the trade again right so at that time I had three trades on the GU running at different you know um, pit levels those two were pretty similar but this one was um, obviously a bit less so then they'd won by here okay so that was another 30 okay so we had 10 20 30 40 50 okay then this one again here came down but, uh, I think this was off the orange line on the HA uh, chart but because the four, 4 hour was you know um, still in control still there and we hadn't touched the 1 hour orange line here I took this as well okay so that was 60 60 pips 
okay in single trades okay and I also had one running from here all the way till it hit the orange line on the one hour chart there okay I took this as well down but I'm not here to discuss that I'm, I'm trying to discuss this this was a 30 pepper okay so the GU alone on Friday was a 90 pip um, pair for me it was actually more because I stacked these single trades okay at least once more but um, it was a, for anybody that's watching it that way I trade was a 90 pip I totally maximized the amount of pips I could get out of that um, particular pair and it was just based on that four hour signal okay right quickly moving on I've got to get a, get a move on here right again GCAD was exactly the same you can see here uh, that this was the two o'clock candle okay I did exactly the same here 10 pip win somewhere up here down to the BB band on the uh, HA charts another 10 pip win there waited this out um, another one here okay so that's 30 now this is when it disappeared the 4 hour signal disappeared on the GCAD and I thought right well I'm not taking that without you know a, um, a 4 hour signal there okay so waited it out so we got back here which was the BB band on the HA chart again okay and then took it okay so 1, 2, 3 Four, waited that one out and then this one here um, which I'm uh, pretty annoyed about because I only got 10 pips out of this here and, and that was a 30 pip move you know but anyway um, I traded this one down as well because that was the one hour uh, orange line alright so again I've taken a a long term one there from here to the out of one hour or happy hour I think it was it had just gone through the one hour um, orange line okay uh, I think that was a 40 pip and at least uh, 50 pips again on single trade so again I maximized guys the amount of pips I can get just you know by basing everything on that four hour signal okay if you don't trust the one hour signals guys uh, sorry the four hour signals then I suggest you go through all these right and see exactly what the four hour signals do there are 20 what 27 28 there plus there are other charts on um, uh, on the blah, 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 what do you call it on the uh, on the on, on the the site basically um, and you just go through right and you see if you can find me a four hour signal that did not perform all right and you'll be hard pressed in fact as I say the only ones I think that struggle uh, are the ones where we have daily supers on the current candle okay right all right let's move on I want to show you um, what is it a couple of these HA um, entry <laughs> entries on um, on on this recording this was number 25 by the way you can check it for yourselves um, you can quite clearly see okay we've got one hours in play on the GCAD the GU okay we've got one hours now you could say that perhaps you know they're, they're looking like they've done the job no there's that crazy green white arrow that I saw uh, that I mentioned to MT you know first time I've seen one of them um, and you could say that they've done the job in particular the GCAD one you've got a one hour you've got a four hour down has this done its job well look where it is it's right on the orange line there okay so this to me now you should be looking right for um, the, the four hour to kick in again okay you're getting it, it's starting going red and again if, if you'd have trusted this you'd, you'd already be in some of you might want an arrow wait for the arrow um, like the GU you've got an arrow there uh, the EU you've got an arrow there okay um, so you can wait for the arrow you can wait for you know big momentum make sure you know DX is on your side I mean at the moment it's against you taking the GU so you can't take that 
okay you can't take the EU because the DX is is red all right the G cad again if you wait to wait wait the good thing about the G cad is when this arrow turns up here the U cad also looking like it's going down the UCAD won't go down by the way guys it's I know it's got all everything set up for it here but um, I think there was some some either some news earlier on in the day that had really you know forced the UCAD up and as you can see there it was just very very rigid um, anyway I'm getting off track on that right so we're looking at this GCAD Oh, and the, the DX starts firing up in a minute, guys, by the way. The EU and the GU. Okay. GU, yes, you might be right. It's not quite touched the orange line on the 15 minutes. It's nowhere near it on there. There is a one-hour arrow, but again, you know, you're talking about a really rigid move. To the downside here, look, these... The, oh God, these, these blues, guys, when they're on four-hour and um, eight hours like this, look at what they do. They do... They, and and I mean, if you're looking at that, you can only the daily there. You can only say it's a downtrend, you know. All right, so that's what we're looking at now for these entries here. This is what you're looking at. Okay, the GU has a white arrow on the HA. The EU has, although you could say you're not on the top BB band, but you could have perhaps taken it there. I mean, you'd seen this big wick here bouncing off here, right? Uh, G card, if you got in there good we've got a signal maybe i didn't see if we had any momentum to be to be honest with you though but right so let's fast forward and i'll just show you this and this is the power of the four hours there you go look at that gu okay look at the gcad you were in there look at that the thrust everything for the gcad was perfect you were bouncing off the 30 minute orange line four hour kicked in again look bang down down HHR obviously got momentum. GU um, not quite on the you know the orange lines. Oops, <laughs> happens every now and again that guys. Um, but again, you had a hate an HA arrow. All right, and uh, yeah, beautiful. G even the EU guys, if you'd have waited for the HA arrow, you know, bounced off the five minute orange line here definitely off the 15 minute orange line and you can quite clearly see right off the 30 there as well okay um, I know the GU and the EU uh, you can say well the, the 4 hours wasn't on the um, current open candle which effectively makes them I would say this now was a downtrend the 15 is down the 1 hour down even on the EU the one I was down 15s down the 30 looks down so you could call them number twos all right um, uh, GCAD well for the last what five hours it's been going down and you know you did actually have uh, an arrow on the current open for our candle so that is in effect a number one all right and these were great moves guys um, you know I'll just keep fast forwarding and show you and again this is why with the trend you should do open TP there's nothing that is not enough to say alright you can close your trade ok same on the GCAD there that is not enough because there's nothing else on every other chart every other chart is saying down I know you're looking at this here but once that 4 hour kicks in again you've just got to ignore that um, 1 hour alright uh, oops move on look at you look at look, look you can just see the H A arrow there and look at that on the Haki uh, Hakanashi chart look beautiful beautiful e -U G U saying look nothing there to say close your trade um, this on the G G cad you might have said oh well I'm getting out here but you had another entry point look there you had another entry point there and look what it did bounced off the five minute orange line all right and now look at how these um one and fours have evolved you know just amazing amazing honestly guys um but again this video basically is to to give the um you know the newbies or anyone who's struggling you know rocky i think you would benefit from looking at the ha charts um and, and looking for a, a number one 
on the HA charts uh, getting it as high as you can but again if you're not in to start with um, uh, look look there's a prime example of an entry point on the GU just below the clock look it's gone up to the orange line and if you, if you weren't already in that down move then if you gain momentum then that's going to continue because you know the setup everything says down everything every chart says down I know you're looking at this 15 minute signal here but it did its job went to the orange line and then bang back down okay so um, that basically is just you know uh, um, probably the most basic way to trade in here and um, I know MT's had quite a bit of success with it guys and I know BR and I know you go trade this way and possibly Anissa but I think she does it with the 5 minute charts um, and there are probably more people in the room doing it as well um, I can't think of anything else I want to discuss with you guys apart from as I say the arrows on the 5 minute and this new tweak well I know I mentioned before about the greens look what they do here look at the EU reverse but it didn't reverse on its own ok it had help um, maybe there was a signal here that you know disappeared I can't actually recall one was it a 1 hour can't recall one but again look on the GU you had something there it went up um, and, that, and basically the greens tell me there's a possible reversal coming and uh, there's one there on the GCAT as well that went up here the whites I think um, you can quite clearly see they just go with uh, more a trending signal you can see there that one's took that one down GU there took that one down you know and GCAT obviously look took that down um, yeah so I think I think guys that's probably about it I mean simple simple keep it simple we, we have said this for years uh, in here keep it simple don't over complicate matters if you've got a four hour signal just trade in that way how do you trade it well I've just explained that look look on the Heiken Ashi charts if you want to just get a winning mentality do what Darwin did on Friday and just go for five pips to start okay um, if you're with the trend you might want to go with, for ten pips okay just focus on one pair or two pairs that uh, look for correlation guys when I come in the room um, one of the things I do is I look what's going on sometimes the GCAD um, will correlate with the GU right now that shows is either weakness or strength in the pound okay sometimes it will correlate um, with the UCAD again that shows you that there is either strength or weakness in the Canadian dollar okay so that that's the kind of thing I look for um, again on this particular day the EU and the GU um, correlated pretty much you can see the way they've gone down on the 15 minute charts and the GCAD followed as well and the UCAD went up and that basically said to me that the DX excuse me was um, was strong that day right to pull all those four into line like that okay um, I can't think of anything else guys that I need to say um, it shouldn't really be that hard for you just to look for the most basic um, of entries uh, uh, you know what the four hours do you know what the one hour signals do you know um, what the signals on the hack and actually do in correlation with um, you know the one and fours and the other time frames okay um, so yeah yeah I've kept this kept this video as short as I can for a reason guys and uh, well uh, uh, I think that should do us all right